Hey everyone, today we're going to make the two times points game pass. Now, to get started, we're going to, as we have in the past two episodes, go down to our project in the creator hub, uh, go to associated items, we're going to hit on passes, create a pass, and this will be two times points. And I'm going to create this, and what I'm going to do is, first of all, click the three dots, and not the three dots, sorry, just click on the icon, and then we can go to sales, and change put it on for sale and change the price to whatever we would like i'm going to equal this with the uh, rebirths game pass and set it to 75 hit save changes and then go back and what i'm going to do is just first of all copy the id just so we don't have to come back to here so i'm going to go to the two times points click the three dots copy the asset id and then we'll head into Roblox. Okay, so here we are. First of all, we're going to, and under our starter GUI, uh, we're going to go under our game pass shop, make the background visible, and find the uh, double rebirths, and we're just going to duplicate it, and rename this to double points. We're going to hit uh, open this up, and go to the icon, or not the icon, sorry, the purchase button. And what we're going to do is, first of all, go to the name, and change this to two times coins, uh, not coins, sorry, points, not with it today. Uh, then we're going to go to the price, that's still 75. The description, with this game pass, you'll receive a permanent two times points boost. Then we can close that, and under our local game pass handler, I'm going to paste our new ID in, and then just before this, I'm going to say local, and this will be points game pass ID equals, or just point game pass ID equals and then this new id here next we need our local uh points game pass button which will be set to background dot scrolling frame dot double points dot purchase dot text button and then we'll copy all of the rebirth game pass button uh function here paste that in again and rather than rebirth game pass button this will be points game pass button and then this uh, rebirth for game pass button dot text down here will be points game pass button dot text. And rather than passing in the rebirth game pass ID, we want to pass in the points game pass ID. And that is it for the local game pass handler. Now under our workspace in our event script, whenever we add a point, this is where we are going to use our statement where we see if the user owns the game pass. So we need to find where our points are. So they're all here. What we'll do is say if marketplace service colon user owns game pass or sync player dot user id and passing in the game pass id which is if we go back under here let's find our game pass id so in the game pass id there then we'll say player dot other stats dot points dot value plus equals one and then you can add the rebirth value again if you'd like and the upgrade one level value and all that but i'm not going to do all of that now we can close that, Hit uh, first of all close this background here, make that invisible, hit test and play, and we can see if this works. So we'll start by seeing uh, if we actually get multiple uh, points per movement, so let me just pause this. What I'm going to do is under my stats, I'm going to uh, go to my leader stats, set my rebirths to zero, just so I'm, not, so I'm only getting one, or I'm getting two points every single step. I should only be getting one, but I'm getting two, and that's because our two times points is working. If we were to then uh, give ourselves some rebirths, let's give ourselves five rebirths, we would typically get 10 points a step. Oh, here we should get 11, so it should go from 78 to 89, or 85. Is that right? So five, one plus five is six, uh, plus one, so we should be getting seven a step, so this should go to 92, which it does, there we go. Perfect. So. I hope you found this video helpful everyone that is literally it if we want to quickly test the uh prompt let's set up our local server of one player here we go so now i'm going to hit game passes go to our two times points and hit purchase and it prompts it so that is it everyone that is all i wanted to show you uh that is basically it there's one more thing i want to quickly fix uh because i know a few people have had problems with their data store uh so i'm going to quickly cover that now so back into our main game under our data store script, what I'm going to do is rather than using in this else where we've got these local values to save here 
and then we've got else ds colon get a sync player key values to save we're going to use colon set a sync that was my mistake it should have been set a sync from the start but i made a typo and just never noticed it until everyone started pointing it out so this should fix a lot of problems uh, if it's maybe not saving your data this should fix it so now that that is fixed, I'm just going to quickly test and uh, make sure our data is still saving. So I'm just going to get, say, 135 points. There we go. Uh, 169, there we go. If we stop and hit play again, it should all work. So here we go. And yes, 169 is saved. Now, if you're walking and you're not getting points for the first few seconds, that is because in our event script, we are waiting. Uh, maybe it's not the event script the movement script I think it is um, speed manager no uh, it must be under starter player starter player scripts movement here it is we are waiting four seconds before we do anything you can just make this maybe one second it's just to stop errors really just make that make, wait one second and then you should be getting points basically straight away without having to wait there we go and that might fix any problems where you're waiting a while for the points to start working and racking up so thank you for watching this video everyone, I hope you found it helpful, this is the end of the series now, uh, I don't plan to do any more episodes on it, I know I've had a few other suggestions, but uh, I think it's time to move on, we did, this is, a, this is just an update of an old series, just made it a bit better, more optimised, more features, uh, everything else um, is kind of very specific to each person's game individually, uh, so I don't want to just do entire episodes based on something that only one person wants in their game. Um, I want to be more generic with the features that sort of everyone will want in a speed simulator. So that is why I've done this. Uh, I don't. I think this is an alright point to leave it. I know some people have suggested things like races. Again, not everyone wants races, so I'm not going to cover it. Also, it's very complicated. It's not something I plan to really cover yet. I want to sort of move on from this series now and look at maybe getting more involved with Unity videos. Uh, Unity 2D maybe unity 3d i'm not sure uh, i want to kind of expand the community a bit we've really focused on roblox a lot at the minute and i want to sort of grow that so i think i'm going to look at a ui course for unity 2d next uh, i know someone suggested that i do a course on that it won't be a very long one uh, not as long as this i don't think uh, but it's just another thing i want to work on just growing up with unity we will still do Roblox videos and maybe Scratch as well. Uh, I don't do the Scratch videos, someone else does. Um, but we've just both been very busy at the minute and not had a lot of time. So that is why there haven't been many of those. Roblox, as I say, uh, towards the end of the series, the videos did start coming out slower. Once again, because I've not had the time. Um, I've been very busy, so I do apologise. But I think we'll move on now and... And look at other series ideas and maybe expanding. We'll still do Roblox videos, as I say, just expanding a bit more. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. And if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe if you did. And goodbye.